So I finally bought a new Westpac. If you follow this channel, you know I've had two in the past, sold them, regretted it. So I bought my third and final one, hopefully. I wanted to, to do a proper review of the Westpac. If you're familiar with the PC, you're probably aware that this is mostly practical if you're going outside, if you need to carry stuff. But since we are all stuck inside, I thought, okay, my, maybe do a different uh, review on how useful this can be, even when you're stuck at home or doing random things during the day, not necessarily going outside to meet other people or where you have to bring stuff, etc. So I'm spending my time here on the couch. And I have to say the practicality of this piece really changes when you're on the inside, right? When you're going outside, it's about carrying stuff. Obviously the looking cool part we leave aside for now, right? It's only about functionality now. And when you go outside, you want to carry stuff, right? But when you're on the inside, you don't necessarily need to carry stuff. So for the inside, it's more about accessibility to me, right? I just sit here, let's say I spontaneously decide to read a book, but then you also have quick access to your snacks, right? Which is really necessary when you're Netflix and chilling. The Westpac is super useful, even on the couch. Rosie, come. But then also if you quickly need to feed your dog, you can always have snacks, right? Speaking of the dog, let's go for a walk. I also love wearing the Westpac underneath because you still have quick access to the pockets, but it's not too in your face when you put it on top of the jacket. What is also really handy is you have those little foot bags in your West bag, so you can easily clean it up. Now the Westpac really comes in handy in the kitchen as well, right? Let's say you have some Parmigiano that you need for your pizza, right? You can quickly access all your tools from your Westpac, of course, shave some lovely Parmigiano. So everything that you need in the kitchen, you can basically keep in your Westpac at your disposal, which is really, really handy. For example, if you wanna cut a carrot, can just go ahead and cut it and keep all the tools that you need in your kitchen. Now, obviously, this is more of a joke, right? It's fun, I think it's cool. Make kind of makes sense to keep your essentials in there, but probably I wouldn't recommend putting a knife in there, to be honest. But yeah, on to a more serious note, right? Where this piece really comes in handy for me is the studio. <music> So let's finally put this Westpac to a bit of use, right? We're in my studio. As I said earlier, I'm finishing up gloves. This is the first prototype, actually the sixth <laughs> prototype that I made. But I think this is the final one, right? So super excited, beautiful horse leather, super weird long shape, right? Sort of an extension of your arm, etc. cetera. Um, I'll show you those in another video and I have to finish up the second one. As you can see, wet molded, so sort of like molded to my hands you can also see here the knuckles and stuff so a lot of work to do and so the way i use the west back here in the studio is again really focused on accessibility right it's kind of a mess here which is why i'm only filming in this direction i need a lot of tools right in my process and i often don't find the tools that i need so i'm constantly searching and i'm so losing so much time so what i have been doing for the past weeks since i had this is to use this sort of as a quick access storage kind of thing, right? So stuff that I always and regularly use, right? My scissors, for example. Now I always know, okay, they're here. So it's a quick, quick move and then I put them back. Also pliers, I would say those are the main two tools that I often spend a lot of time looking for. So this is a perfect solution for me. Obviously there is a back panel as well with a slot, uh, which I don't use because it takes too much time, especially in those quick access kind of moves. But that's the way I use the West Bank in the studio. So 
So I'm finishing up my gloves and I thought I've shown you enough ways or creative and funny ways, hopefully funny ways to use this piece. I quickly wanted to talk about the piece itself a bit, right? So as you know, it is from Carol Christian Paul, who has been featured on this channel quite a lot. It is color 10, which is black. The leather is coarse, which is horse. Yeah, other than that, it's a vest bag, which is a bag and a vest in once, which is a super nice idea, I think. I've talked about this piece forever, so I'm not gonna go in too much detail. Just wanted to show you a couple of details and how they're finished. The hardware is beautifully aged, by the way. Some of the West Bags, there go my scissors. Some of the West Bags have pretty shiny hardware. Luckily, mine are pretty aged, which is beautiful. So it's quite the thick and juicy leather. And yeah, you have the two front panels, right, which have one big zip here on the inside, which is super handy because you can wear it underneath stuff to pull things out or even on top of stuff. And then you have the large back panel, which has a zip at the bottom, right? This is really good for iPads, computers and stuff. And yeah, has a closure mechanism here at the top, but then also a closure mechanism here at the, well, a hook, it's not a closure mechanism, it's a hook, um, at the bottom here as well, which I don't use. I prefer to just tuck it in at the top and then leave it open. And yeah, you have adjustable straps here. By the way, speaking of adjustable and sizing, so I picked a size 48, I'm usually a size 52. I personally prefer the panels to be, be a bit smaller. And since you can adjust it, it really fits all sizes. But I think that to me is the perfect size. So yeah, that's been it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video, right? If you did, subscribe to the channel and everything and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. For example, you want to...